Um, what did we say? It's uh, uh fuck. Rip. Also, Just apparently you're two muted. Boys talking about iRacing, iRacing memes, and how every wreck is your fault. Oh, <laughs> man, that would Nick be is the on a life. roll. Nick is on a roll. Typical Ascari stream, he says. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? Brutal. You know what? I, you know what I love about doing things live. Doing things live. Uh let me take this. Let me take what I let me, let me take what I just said back. I actually fucking hate doing things live. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man, I'm always trying to do something. Like so, I raced Imza and Nick spotted, which was nice. It was it was a great time. And I go put my kid down. Okay. Well, I didn't really do. My wife was doing. Is that your? I, that's your first eye racing bonding experience together, isn't it? Um, him spotting, yes, not racing, wow. but yeah. Hated every minute of it. Um, yeah. Okay. Figured. That's as soon as he stopped passing cars. I'm guessing you were like, "All right, I'm gonna head well, out." Well, I had to pass some cars because I kept fucking up and get behind cars, so that was probably mm. more enjoyable for him. That'll do it. Okay, but see, you know, it's classic, right? Help put the kid down. Time for stream. Time for the pod, boys. Sit down. Get my mic ready. Looks good. Everything looks great. <laughs> Start press stream and <laughs> the whole OBS blows up. I swear to God, every time. <laughs> uh, okay, today uh, we are talking about Coke. Because I know it's been a couple weeks, but we never talked about it. Actually... I I do want a disclaimer at the front of this podcast. We are a very timely, punctual podcast that happens every single week without fail. Week or bi-weekly. Or bi-monthly. I mean, there is a week in it. Uh, Yeah, I actually mentioned on the special that I want to do it more consistently. I'm going to try to do like little short ups. Same week. I try to do regular ups every week. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm putting out more of that shit-ass content. <laughs> <laughs> because that's that's what I do here, apparently. Preach uh, it. You know what's... What, also, I cannot describe to you, uh, Tom, how bad the boxes look on on Twitch. It's it's bad. The box situation is not good. <laughs> they were actually... They were excellent before um, we brought Maynard The Fire in. Nation attack? We brought Maynard in, and that absolutely ruined the spacing. You know what actually really gets me? Yeah, I hate to be on my soapbox this early. You know, we haven't talked about any racing, but the more time I put in before the stream, the shittier it is. <laughs> I don't get I'd it. Say that's, that's par for the course, no? I don't get Yeah, it. everything that you're involved in has pretty much been summed up right there. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes I sense. mean, for for Porsche, 20 hours of practice, come home 23rd. Mm-hmm. well that was like montreal i was telling brian you know uh we're an hour into practice do my best lap and then the next literally 14 hours <laughs> don't improve it's fine <laughs> until saturday's race uh, that's completely fine uh we do have maynard say hello maynard how y'all doing we got Ma- hey maynard maynard sounds okay right Oh, yeah, he's, he's beautiful. Tell me he sounds good. Uh, oh, um, we have a couple, actually. I have a couple of little announcements. Um, it's really, it's actually quite fun. Uh, just so you remember in the chat, uh, there are some words that Nick banned. Uh, and if you say them, if you guess them. Tell I, buy you a t-shirt. No, no, no. Nick said he'd come up with the prize. Um. <laughs> If you just spam the chat, I don't know. I'm Nick's kind of in charge of the rules, so like I don't know if there's like a spam limit. Um, but yeah, if you... does does the comment from Dalty Fly is that not on the ban list? Damn, uh... that's a good guess. Rastavin's a good guess. That'd be something I would ban, not Nick, though. To be to be yeah. clear, to be clear, y'all better not ban. Do it for Dale. Nah, bro, no, that's it's... the creed we live by no. here. Absolutely not. We, we um, don't uh, disgrace the Lord like that. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... So we got that. This is not a blasphemous stream. <laughs> we got that out of the way. Um, Maynard, do you want to talk real NASCAR or Coke Series NASCAR? What's going to upset you more? Well, there, there is only one NASCAR. Yeah, yeah, I know. But so I, I don't talk about Coke. 
I don't know what you're talking about. The second one. I have a feeling you're going to be upset about both of them for different reasons. Well, yeah. Now that you mention it, absolutely yeah, am see. upset about NASCAR, gentlemen. I got some terrible news for y'all. All right? Tell me, y'all. Okay. Wanna, y'all want to sit back and listen to this real good? Hang on, I'll uh, I'll lean my chair back for this. All right. All right. It's very tragic. All right, as y'all know, y'all might remember now. I done did a. Uh, uh, my own NASCAR points based on how they done did it before Ryan France ruined it. Right. Right? All right. Well, I've done been tallying them up. Now, last Sunday, I tuned in NBC as as you would, you know, about around 3 o'clock. And you know what they playing? They're playing PGA golf or some nonsense. So, I done went to jayski.com and looked up the schedule. <laughs> Sure enough, they ain't racing at Homestead, Miami this year. I I figured they don't cancel it with everything going on, right? So, unfortunately, uh, since they don't ain't gonna race the whole season, you can't have NASCAR champion. So, that's bad news. There ain't no NASCAR champion in twenty twenty. The whole season just hogwash. So. To make sure I understand this, Maynard, so yes. the season only ends if the last race is Homestead? E- yep. Got it. Got you it. understand okay. it perfectly. Shouldn't the championship finish at Daytona, so it's way more a lottery? Well, maybe. Only the best have won at Daytona. Exactly. Yep. They'll, they'll done one there with like 15 times. However... That just ain't tradition. Tradition, Homestead, Miami. They 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 have always since the invention of NASCAR finished the season at Homestead, Miami. Yeah, they always really? will Forever? finish the season at Homestead, Miami. They didn't start the season. Here's how it goes, right? They they, they did since like week, 1950. Week whatever? one, Speed Weeks, Daytona. Is that true? Week two. Daytona 500 every week. The week three, Rockingham. Week last week, Homestead, Miami. So just do three races and call it. Well, no, they they gotta go. They gotta go do their other races. But I'm just saying that that's only that's the three weeks right there, off the top of my head. Got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So sure. so unfortunately. They don't cancel that last one because of COVID or whatever going on. Um, so they just, we're just one race short of the season. All right, no champion. So no one won. That's what you're saying? Well, Is that no, what one I'm no one won the championship. No one won the championship. Right. Because they uh, didn't run enough races for you to be happy. What if well, I, no, can I propose no, it something? Ain't, it ain't, can it I, ain't a question of number. Okay. It's a question of they didn't finish the schedule. Uh, go, go on, Tom. What you saying? How would you feel hypothetically? Hypothetically. Hypothetically. If <laughs> if Chase Elliott won. Well, that'd be a shame. And if he That's was now a NASCAR champion. Well, well, here's the thing about that. All right. I ain't got no respect for Rick Kendrick. After what they did, Dale Earnhardt Jr., they done <laughs> ripped him away from DEI. Didn't Teresa kind of do that on her own, though? Well, we ain't going to talk about Teresa now, are we? We're talking about Rick Hendrick. Uh, Doesn't you know, Jr. speak very highly of uh, Rick Henry? Well, he may. But that don't mean I have to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here, uh, Maynard, since since clearly we can't talk about NASCAR news with you at all, uh, ever, I, I have a fun little segment <laughs> that I think. Wait, we, let's I, let's I briefly let's briefly pause. News. Let's briefly pause. Okay. And how many episodes has Maynard been on? Eight of the ten. Does that does that sound right? Yeah. Well, if of if you the can... eight times that Maynard has been on the show, 
he has not watched a single race in a timely fashion. <laughs> if, if you count how this many is times the worst y'all NASCAR correspondent has anyone has hey, ever had. Excuse me, I'm talking here. If if you count how many times y'all were on my show and add that to how many times I was on y'all show, I've been on y'all show more than both combined. But didn't your get show end because you got sued by Bojangles? Whoa, no, no, I ain't got sued. They they just cut their funding from me, and I had to cancel it. And you had to buy your own biscuits. Tell us you don't yeah. worry about it. Don't well, worry. some if if you go there around around uh, nine thirty, ten o'clock or so, you just go in there, and they got some extra biscuits sitting out, so you just take one. Okay. It's a little it's a little hard, but you know, you get it for free, so it's worth it. Um All right. can I, I got two questions oh for Maynard. My God. Okay. Mine are more important than yours, Tom. No, you no, I'm, I'm sure. Ruining they are. OBS. Checks out. Checks yeah. out. Yeah. Keep ruining OBS up there. Okay, well. All right. Two parted. First one. Best NASCAR finish of all time is the two thousand twelve Finger Lakes three five five. Who won the race? Was that one question? That's that a lot of words. That was one question. Well, 2012, they were running the car tomorrow. So you can already tell right there it wasn't a good finish. Uh, that's incorrect. They weren't running the car of the future what? in 2012, but it's fine. Uh, this guy what? don't know nothing what? about NASCAR history. What? What's happening? What are you, what's going on? <laughs> I just wanted to talk a little bit. With, okay, you know what? I'm going to bring us back up. The knives got, are out. I got a really fun, I, as, as I was trying to tell Maynard, we can't we can't talk any sort of news on the podcast. So I thought we'd do something fun and have a little Daytona 500 quiz, okay? I've put little right. scoring numbers. Uh, Maynard, you're up top. You can't see it, but you're up top by the here for uh, SR logo. We have a number by Manny, Nick, and we have one in the chat. So I'm really hoping. Oh, big! I'm really hoping the chat can beat all of you. Okay, so this is only Daytona 500 questions. Uh, let's 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 do it. No cheating, please. No Google. Anyone? Are you even allowed to talk about the Daytona 500? Given that you refuse to run Daytona and Talladega on iRacing, I've ran a bunch of Daytona races. Yeah, I, it's a good farm in the 87s. Shut up. I'm when it's in a league quiz. race and my eye racing is not on, on the line. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what I took away from that, too. They, they first off, they toned 500 overrated because. Oh my God. They, I, I done told you all this <laughs> already. Shit. They give out them cheating stricter plates is worth nothing. That race is worth nothing. I'll tell you what. But anyway, uh, we the can, best, the we best can driver on the oh. grids getting in uh, car five, a historic Hendrick car. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh no! No no! Cut his mic! Oh, no. Cut his mic! No. Cut the mic! Abort! The mic. Abort! Abort! Best driver on the grid, car five, historic Hendrick Racing it's number. It's not Kyle Busch. What's Unreal. wrong with you? I'm, at, I'm <laughs> starting to lose. Terry Labonte. I'm. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Not anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm starting the fucking quiz. You guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Question one. Jesus Christ. Question one. No cheating. That means you, Delty. Uh, the 2002. Hey, both Finger Lakes 355. I swear to God, I will cut your mic. I swear to God, I'll do it. Uh, the 2002 Daytona 500 was red flagged in the closing laps of the race so NASCAR could clean up an accident. Which driver got out of his car while on track and attempted to pull his right foot fender off his tire? Is is this a freak for all? How does it work? Yeah, I mean, just come. Uh, where you probably it's just you get that final answer out. Mark Martin. Juan Pablo. Chat. You have anything? Michael Fassbender's not right. If that's. Um... I mean, it is a <laughs> guess. Uh, or Jorge Lorenzo. The, the answer is Sterling Marlin. No points. Oh, oh, wow. oh my goodness! Hey, you know, hey, you know what Sterling Jesus Marlin did in 2001. I'll tell you what, he needs to get, get <laughs> oh, Gavin Nassau. No. 
Oh my! That man God. has got no business being behind wheel of stock car. Delta, you're gonna get one right. You're gonna beat all these fools. Um, at least one answer will be Dale Delta. I believe in you. Who or the, JJ? Who were the first brothers to both win the Daytona 500? Uh, Richard Walter. Petty, Richard Petty, and Kyle Petty. Yeah, I back that. Point for Manny. Didn't Let's anything, fucking go. Didn't get anything from the chat. That's fine. You know what? I, it's tough. It's tough God, out there. Fuck this it. up. I get it. One, <laughs> one fucking joke. Uh, you know, it's. I think it's extra, extra bonus. Uh, everyone should know that my. I just was telling these guys that my numpad is what does all the um soundboards. So whenever I give one person these points, you're going to hear various soundboard sounds, which is going to be just excellent. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm sure one of them will be that uh, I'm fucking useless, which just sounds, already happened. sounds right. You have one fucking job. Um, Perfect. Question three. <laughs> the, Hell yeah. The inaugural, the inaugural Daytona 500 in 1959. Hold on, can you repeat the question? You're on mute. You're, you're kidding, right? <laughs> This is the third question, which we're going to do it for Dale. You got three fingers up in the air. Oh, yeah. The inaugural Daytona 500 in 1959 ended in a photo finish and took three days to declare the winner. Who was finally made the victor in this race? Fireball Roberts. Anybody? Anybody else? John Forrest. <laughs> uh, it's, I mean, he's he's probably the right age. It's, he's probably. I mean, John Forrest is like 150 years old. Lee, it feels like. Lee Petty. Lee Petty. Boo, he proper cheated. Question four. Wow. Question four. Which driver set a record for appearing in 32 consecutive Daytona 500 races? Mark Martin. Mark Martin. Tate and Richard Petty. All of them. Uh, Dave Marsis. I've never heard of him. You guys heard of him? <laughs> you guys heard nope. of this game? No, me neither. Wow, we're shit at this game, guys. Uh, last question. Should we just do five? I'll throw in a five? bonus question. We'll do... I'll throw in a bonus question. No, 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 no. no, no. You're playing. Uh, we're going to do five, and then if we need a tiebreaker, then we'll carry on. Um the oh the 1979 Daytona 500 ended with a crash in the last lap, then a fist fight for the fans in the stand and the television world. Who were the two drivers that uh, crashed on the last lap on track? 1979. Davy Allison. It was Davy Allison and Richard Amen. Petty, wasn't it? I will. I was gonna say that he he done interrupted me. I should get his point. Or actually, no, got... it was no, it wasn't. It was Yarbrough and Allison, wasn't it? What do you think, Nick? No cheating. Alan Kowicki <laughs> and Davey Brito Allen. and Nick Pato. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander Brito and Nick Pato. Um, I take that. I I take uh, that answer. That's worth a point, at least. I think. Mike Skinner and the Daytona 500 officials when he said he'd pass under the white line. Uh, Fuck this up. It, one, one fucking job. Danny, it was indeed Yarbrough and Allison. Wow. What you take when you take, what you you take, take a number two? So, uh, right. chat gets one, beats both Nick and Maynard. Manny with two wins quiz night. I thought you told me it was worth five. Five. I just said it was. You said five. those words. That what? was five points. We need. We need another question. Tiebreaker. No, no. All right, I got one. I got one. I got one. Okay. I got a good one. All right. Is it the 2012 Finger Lakes? No, 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 no. Better. 1993 Daytona 500. After a winless debut season in 1992. Something, something, something. Who won the race? Well, debut season 92. Winless debut season in 92. Joe Gibbs Racing and somebody entered 93, hoping to improve. And they ended up racing. 
was the it man, Tony the Stewart, for the win? Who won? Jeff Gordon. Could be Mark Martin, actually. Sounds like... Well, he might have started earlier than that, actually. Mark Martin? He ain't Joe Gibbs. Or wait. Oh. 93 um, and rookie season was 92? Mm-hmm. Gibbs. I don't know. <sighs> wait. Um, can you say the manufacturer or the sponsor? Bobby Labonte. Cheating. Do we get any hit? Fuck. No hit. Bro, I'm trying to answer the fucking question. <laughs> Useless. Dale Jarrett. That's a good, good Dale question. Jarrett. That's a good Dale question. Jarrett. That's a good. That, that was good. Uh, it's a good name. I just you really to... are an underrated redneck. Okay, here's a question for you guys. The Pro Series is going on right now. The Pro Series race. Who do you think has more views, Bottom Split or Podium Esports? They're both airing it. Uh, it's got to be Bottom Split, man. Hundred percent. It is, yeah. Mm, bottom it is, Split. It is Bottom Split, indeed. Well, uh, oh, and chat gets it right too. Let's go. Points. That's all a good. Over. That's a good stream. See streaming program. See, you know why we're bad stream? It's all you f- idiots. See you guys, and the fact that I'm just completely incompetent. But fifty-fifty, fifty-fifty. Uh, Preparation prevents piss poor performance. You, Tom. <laughs> that's my model. Did you guys? <laughs> did any of you guys watch the Coke finale? I did actually. the highlights. I watched the highlights. Uh, I'll be honest that that win, uh, I was hit me right in the feels. Hit me right in the feels when his pops came over and was like, oh, "I love you, son," and I was like, "Oh, oh." No, and I, from what I've heard, uh, Ottinger seems like a really, really nice guy, and he's been in the series for a while. I mean, it was well deserved. He was in the right place at the right time. Agreed. Excellent. It was an ex. It was it was very good actually. Race just like Chase Elliott. You got to do it on the day, brother. <laughs> what do you think of that, Maynard? I think I, Maynard just gone. disconnected. I, I couldn't even understand him. Was he <laughs> speaking English? <laughs> Not your kind of English, sunshine. So I still uh, don't know what he's saying. Yeah, no, it's probably better that way if you just don't. Uh, <laughs> don't engage me now. Yeah, Ottinger finally got a win. I know he's been in this series for a long time. It was, it was, it was pretty rad. I, I'll be honest. I, I enjoyed the. Um, I was on the bike, um, trying to you know keep my FTP above Nick's. Uh, so got to keep grinding. Uh, I was thinking about putting like an FTP tracker um, above. In the, in the, in all of our streams, me versus Nick. I don't know what do you think about that, Nick. So you have fun. I've got I've got more time on my hands, so so you should yeah. Have no just problem, understand right? that if he tries, you're getting destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. That's fine. I am not a particularly gifted cyclist, so um, just try, right? I I feel like even if you'd left the cyclist out of it, it still would have been a pretty valid statement. Well, you know what they say about cyclists, don't you? Tell me. Cyclists are... Uh... I, I shouldn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> you say everything else? <laughs> Why is this the thing to stop you of all when things? You take, when you take, when you you take, take a number two, right? So is it... Is it like bicycles in general, or what are we talking here? Uh, like, just I don't think I'm a super gifted endurance athlete. You know what I mean? Oh, again, you could have left endurance athlete out of it. Still be valid. I don't know what you want from me. Uh, oh yeah, um, Nick. Nick did a thing today. Um, he is the artist working most gifted one on the pod. Uh, which uh, checks I was, out. I was surprised as well, but he, it's absolutely true. Um, if you go to here for SR, here the number four SR dot com, uh, that we have a website. There's a website for this pod. I think it takes for a spe- this dribble that comes out of our mouths. It really takes someone <laughs> special to enjoy the pod, but uh, amazingly. But we have had uh, write-ins telling us how the pod brightens their day, which honestly, I was I was genuinely touched. Like. No jokes, no nothing. Like I was genuinely touched I, that I somehow surprised. this a bullshit hour to an hour and a half that we do has brightened one person's day. Is 
I mean, that's that's something to be proud of. I'll take that. I think I think the key to our complete mediocrity is your um, leadership. We're just we're, <laughs> we're just, more ways than one. We're trying to <laughs> we just do the we do the exact opposite of all the successful uh, pods and streams, right? Right. That's what we Yeah, doing. don't they tell you you have to uh be competent to run OBS and do some half decent liveries and not run the same piece of shit GD4 driving around up and down for 10 weeks, but yeah, something along Yeah, those um I'm pretty sure I also read somewhere in there about having uniform box sizes. No, I never heard uh, that. Here's, it was definitely in there. Um, when there wasn't, when there wasn't black rings showing around the outside. Uh, this is the worst crop I've ever seen. I think, I think it would be fun to have like a sub goal on stream, and then we'd have to decide um, whether, like, when we get to a certain sub goal, I make it shittier or I make it better. Like, what's what's higher demand? You think? I don't know. What do people like? Do you want worse? I I would Could it Nick, be worse? how close to the bottom of of the quality file do you do you feel like we are? I'm not really <laughs> sure that Tom can make this actively <laughs> shittier. Music template SoundCloud. <laughs> <laughs> That's really the only thing we're missing. We could be found SoundCloud rappers. Nick says when Tom pays me I'll fix it. But who's paying me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't do this shit out of the bottom of my heart. I need, need yeah, that cash all that in. Dude, you're you're really making a mistake then, buddy. Tom Tom, Even Nick has invoiced me for shit. Like mm-hmm. forget it. You're getting invoiced. It's happening. Okay, well, Even Maynard that. gets paid in like long necks or uh, occasional like Is that true? T shirt or... that he wipes his ass with. Yeah, true? or I'm pretty sure he also gets paid in Chase Elliott NASCAR Championship victories. The diecast, Maynard, are you, you you okay? What y'all talking about? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's. I got gonna... something we can talk about. Okay, I was gonna I, I was gonna move on to something interesting, but I I don't see on would Jay-Ski. be the first time we've covered something interesting in ten episodes. I don't see on Zayski. They they got a new car coming out. Y- y'all oh, hear about that? Yeah, this actually this this actually does seem like something we could give our valuable uh, insight on. Holy shit! Are we about to talk about something relevant? Mm-hmm. That's a lot for me to take Do in it. in a timely fashion. Okay, the it, week of uh, it happening. Uh, between from a rating of zero to three, hold up. How many fingers you like it? I got zero fingers up. As much as I want to put up three for Dale. Uh, I know it was a trick. Zero. I just did two. You guys like it that much? <laughs> That's a really It's incredible. Koozie. Really? Oh, yeah. Uh, the koozie is too good. The koozie is excellent. It's truly incredible. And I mean, the whoever gave that to you, a man of culture. Was it you, man? It wasn't, but still a very cultured man. Hmm. It wasn't me. You know he has more friends than just us, right? Why would he and be even on, that's, why would he agree even on that, pod, like I've to, I've told Tom before, yeah, like it's kinda, friends it's between us is a really sure, loose yeah. term. Sure. <laughs> I've asked him to crop that statement and make it like the buzzer, like beep, and we just play it whenever. Like I've got a button. Oh, it's. Beep, 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 beep. I can work on that. I can work on that. I'll work on that. I'll get after you. It. Deserve it. You were you've worked hard for it. Um, I like the. I like that it has independent rear suspension. I like that it's the pit stops are going to be faster. Makes more interesting green flag strategies, I think. I like... Does that mean they can uh, stop with like these heat races? What do you... Do you watch, do you watch NASCAR? What is this guy? Actually, on? no. I'm about stages. I, I think... Let's be clear, Nick. Heat races would be better than the stages. It's the same shit. Hell yeah, brother. It's the same shit. If you do a heat race, which gets you to start in your next heat race, it's the same as having a fucking stage. So I don't understand. If we can have a green fire pit stop where half the 
field doesn't go a lap down, why not just press on? Sure. I mean, I think I think it's good. I like it. I, like I would it. also yeah. like to competition know. cautions. I'm all about. Here's so. what here's what gets yeah. me right. Maynard, Maynard says, let's talk about this topic. Maynard says that, and then somehow you still derail it in the T racing versus stages. Nick, talk about the next gen car. Um, I've been sent multiple videos about it today from several different people and do you like and it? i like it okay. uh i don't like, i don't like the sequential gearbox though why um i just I feel like the three pedal is integral to the experience for exactly NASCAR. i think it's no. still got to it's supposed Doesn't to be matter. raw no if you can't shift it's just un-american you can shift. i'll i rate you that can i rate that just you you shift more now even. but isn't well, like we don't need cards stick shift from the from the Christmas tree. You know? We don't need yeah. your misinformation. Three on yet. the tree, yeah, that's a classic. They're, three on the tree, four on the taking, floor. I I done read it myself. They're taking away shifting, and it's a damn automatic or something like that. Yep. So are they just gonna drive Camrys out there? Well, they are Camrys, aren't they? they oh, well. they're supers now, actually. A couple of NSXs. No, they're Camrys. Super, mm. Supras are the Xfinity car. Only Xfinity runs as the Supra? Yes. Today is, I learned. What is this? Is this a NASCAR podcast? Does anyone know anything about NASCAR? Jesus Christ. Um, uh, according to the trivia quiz uh, that we just did, I know a no. lot more than you guys, apparently. I regret the quiz. I regret the quiz uh, very much. Uh, <laughs> Dalty, Dalty's never seen a, never seen a second in NASCAR. I got a quiz question. What? Who is the OG renegade of NASCAR? Uh, uh, Johnson. The OG renegade of NASCAR? Is that just... Oh, yeah. It has yeah. to be Johnson. I don't know. Any other takers? Nothing? Mike Skinner. Yeah, 2001... Gatorade winner. Yeah. <laughs> no, but if we're talking OG, oh, like we got to go back. Like, with this person? like Johnson did not care about a single rule that was ever written down. If he thought he could get away with it, you better believe that man was going to cut some corners. Jamie Johnson, absolutely. You know, he is a travesty <laughs> to this sport. He's done stole the seven time title, right? The only seven time champion. In NASCAR, that needs to be remembered is Dale Earnhardt. Jimmy Johnson, I'm, I am so glad he is leaving. He has done his time. He needs to get out of here. How how are you going to feel, Maynard, when he uh, comes back in two years to win his eighth championship and also wins the IndyCar championship in between? Well, you need to wake up because that ain't happening. That's maybe your dream that you want. But I, I have a question for Dalty in the chat. He Rick, says he Rick says Hendrick. Ain't winning nothing, nowhere, no how. Dalty in the chat says he was he grew up a NHRA family where NASCAR. That's fascinating. Which, which I've never heard of an NHRA family. Is that is that what you call the five <laughs> spectators for the NHRA race? What are you? What country did you come from? Says the token in the group. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need some citizenship papers on that one. The, the, so you, so you said NASCAR was looked down upon. So wait, uh, so you're telling me that NASCAR, they that was like that's too much turning, like that's 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 the thing, like come on. Could you imagine a sport that looks down on NASCAR and says, I can't. "Wow, well, have you watched a NASCAR race? They made it's embarrassing. Of, they made fun of turning NA, left." Says Dan NHRA, that is American power, straight up. What they made fun of turning. What is well, I guess if you turn in NHRA, I guess you're in deep shit, probably. They're like, haha, they're turning. They don't know how to go straight. What is that? <laughs> That's fucking stupid. <laughs> what is that? Uh, the races are over sooner than Nick's love life. Wow, Delta, it's really, Oof. it's good. Gosh. That's not true. <clears throat> He's... Oh, I've been to Missouri once. It was dreary the whole time. Oh, actually, I got a Missouri story, right? Oh, uh, here we go. 
Um, so going back to the next gen car, how good do the side <laughs> exit exhaust sound? It's pretty good. Next gen car sounded good. Uh, don't like the sequential box. Uh, the... <laughs> I think Not... we've broken Tom Nicholas. <laughs> Not sure about the rooms. You know, like right. I didn't, never thought they needed twenty twos. Nothing wrong with log mats, to be honest. But uh... <laughs> I feel like <laughs> I feel like with the twenty twos, like. Uh, they, it's it's good that they're trying to cater to the youth by using rims from Grand Theft Auto, so I really appreciate it. Do you reckon they'll chrome them? Everyone has to run a chrome? 100%, and the cars will have NOS. Hey, I got a quiz question. This is a good one, actually. The 1993 Die Hard 500, the winning margin, was 0.005. Who was the winner, and who finished in second place? Uh, 1993. 1993. Yeah. Uh, I'm going with Ricky Dale Rudd. Earnhardt. And? Ricky Rudd finishing second. Ooh, not bad. Maynard? Ricky Rudd winning the thing. And... Uh, no, baby. No. Dale Jarrett. I don't know. No, baby, no. Dale Earnhardt won. Eddie Irvin, P2. No. Yeah? The the same Eddie Irvine I'm thinking of? No, sorry, so Ernie Irvin. Oh, I was like, what? What the (laughs) hell? Ernie Irvin. That was a lot for me to take in, Nick. You gave me a heart attack there. Yeah, sorry. I'm not used to rolling Mars so much. (laughs) It's okay. Some of us are better rolling their R's than others. Yeah, particularly when you grow up in a trailer. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a Mexican joke, but it wasn't, I guess. That's honestly, that uh, it turned it turned right when I expected it to turn left. Uh, you mean it turned left because we're NASCAR. We're going straight because we're NHRA. Yeah. Honestly, right. I, I feel... do the joke, right? Not Maybe bad. you can like bring a third of yourself back into the pod. Yeah, Maybe I feel like that you're the you're tapped out. That's as much as you get right now. <laughs> How's that? That be yeah. good. A little right, less. Yeah. Little less. Like just to the headphone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Good. good. Okay. Good. Cool. Cool. Okay. How's this for a fun project? Um, no. I feel like. For the next episode, we're get, we should learn about NHRA and bring back something to share with the class. John we, Force, just, Rachel just Force, bring Ashley Force. No. Well, th- there's that kid running uh, ARCA. He done being uh, true, NHRA actually, yeah. champion. That's true. Do you know that the NHRA is also sponsored by Camping World? It's the Camping World NHRA. Is it really? I didn't yes. realize that. Really? One of the and please correct me if I'm wrong, but the we probably are. But yes, go on. Hey, it's worth a shot. Uh, Gator Nationals. That was an NHRA event, right? I believe so. Actually, yes. Yeah that that used to happen about an hour and change from my house. I never went, but I knew that it happened. I've never seen a four pass. I think actually watching a four pass would be one of the coolest things in the world. That probably would be kind of fun. So fun story. When I grew up, oh, so he gets karting. to tell his story. That's fine. Yeah, because Nick's story Cause are going to be a lot are more interesting than fun. yours. You just yeah. talk shit, you asshole. Um, <laughs> <laughs> also, my headphones are dying, so there's that too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so when we used to cart back in the day as kids, um, remove my name as well. I also want to leave, and then I can like totally leave the podcast as well, and like delete the domain and the website and really bring this whole fucking shit down. <laughs> yeah, we have to be nice to him, Tom. Uh, Nick, we can do that by ourselves. You know I own H4SR now. I, I am a little This bit, is true. I am a this little bit true. worried about that, if I'm honest. Um. Anyway, back to the point. Uh, when we raced cars as a kid, the complex where we, where we grew up, like not far from home, and raced, the drags used to run on the same day. Um, so we used to sneak 
under the fence of the cart track and then sneak under the fence of the drag track and sit on the hill down at like the end of the quarter mile and watch the passes. And it was honestly, as a kid, and I think it's probably the same nowadays, especially if uh, you kind of understand the cars a bit more, like it's awesome, really cool to watch. No, I rate it. I think I think it sounds pretty cool. So no one's gotten the um the words yet. I'm going to I'm going to block anything called here for SR. I'm going to I'm going to block that. Definitely absolutely blocking that. I mean, I'm pretty sure I know one banned phrase or at least I think both Nick and I hope that it's banned at this point, but I really don't want to get back into that. You probably don't know. Um, man, I, we we is really... wheel disconnect a fa- a phrase no, that's banned? No, no, no. Um, I won't restart. Tell, I won't... Is the word restart Danny, banned? You're a moderator. You can look. You can't wait. I can look. You can't play this game. It's only for the oh, listeners. I okay. didn't realize I could look. <laughs> um, so we were gonna talk rallycross. Do we have time? Do you guys want to talk rally cross? How much does that appeal? No, I'm I'm good. I think uh, I got one bit. Um, our boy Garrett Maines got in the feature, started third from the feature. Dunn got punted, spun, killed. Uh, but he was he was he t- side by side into turn one. Uh, with a um. Uh, Is it fair to call him a fr- friend nice of the try. pod? Nice try, like... in the fast lane. Nice try. Um. Yeah, I mean, he's he's your friend, right? Yeah, I feel like calling him a friend of the pod is fair. Sure. Nick, do you wanna do you wanna blast me about IMSA, the IMSA race? Yeah, you have <clears throat> to say, let's get it get it off your mind. Do you? Oh yeah, can we have a race review from from Tom's race? Okay. Yeah, As let's have a race review. So the... let's start. Let's start with the quality. <laughs> Uh, Miss so set the scene. Bad. Miss Coley. He said it was bad, but he started at the front. But then he said, "Oh, I'm the one car, so I should be at the front," which is not a given. So I pay that he started relatively at the front. Started P4. Hold on, got to write back to the chat. We're talking about Germans being upset about the war. Is that, <laughs> is that something that you're passionate about, or very? Yes. Interesting. Okay. Um, I wish I wish you had more patience. We could play some really good historical board war games, Nick. But... Uh, we could play some like historic trivia, but when we start playing like your types of games, then Peanut goes to sleep. Um, <clears throat> okay. Understood. So race review for Fuck Tom. Um, basically, start not so bad. He actually survived nearly getting clean up, cleaned up at the start by an overzealous ten car. Excellent. So Gotta did be careful well. with the double digit cars. Held it on. Um I thought his opening handful of laps were quite strong in the sense that uh um <laughs> the guys around him seemed to be using up tires and he was just punching laps in and doing his shit. So that was cool. Then I had an internet crash throughput error, so I was gone for approximately fifteen to twenty minutes. Came back and all was well uh <clears throat> a few people had died and a few bits and pieces had gone on but for the most part everything was pretty crisp and then thomas sprayed it on his own i was very disappointed about this lost a spot and then his competitor got taken out in traffic this was fantastic i'm all all for it then he pulled two moves that really disappointed me he was right behind the guy in front of him and through the sector one, I don't really know the track very well, through sector one, he could have really controlled his space a bit more and held off an LMP2 car until the back straight. But he just opened the door, like just oh, come in and just fuck me. Like it was just <laughs> here, just have it. He and was... The, and the uh, car behind him, and everyone just ran a fucking great so, train on him. It was horrendous. <laughs> so the LMP2 was the house owner, and Tom was the bull boy? Uh, it was a bit more like um, Tom was like Lana Rhodes, and the LMP2 that and the field Mike, of like 
three or four drivers <laughs> behind were, let's say, the other participants in the Cut film. Cut his mic. Cut his mic. <laughs> um... And so he lost like two seconds, which, you know, doesn't seem like much, but it cost him second place later in the race. I'll get to that. <clears throat> and then, oh, oh, so the we're not thing... even we're not even to the pit stop yet. I'm not even to the fucking pit stop yet. Don't let me Holy don't shit. get me started on his pits entry. It was weak. It was pretty, First it was of all, it was <laughs> it was weak. Uh, and then the second thing, he did finally grow some balls and cut off a few LMP cars to keep him good, good. to the back straight. Love it. And then he does the old. GDE driver like it's okay I've blocked you for three corners now I'll get out of the way in the middle of the straight when the LMP driver's like already set up three corners before to get him on the main straight and he just cuts the LMP2 driver off and nearly gets like T-bone swiped into the fence which I to be fair I sprayed him for and he understood the concept and hopefully he doesn't make the same mistake again otherwise I'll uh, leave the podcast can I, can I, uh, let's, let's here briefly here? pause here oh, yeah okay. I do want your interjection for the first time in your life Go on then. Oh, uh, I definitely felt like I haven't Attacked. ran. No, 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 no. I, I thought you were you were fair. Uh, um, that I had have not been running any real multi class lately. Because I mean, it's probably been uh, since the last in like I Racing Endurance Series event at Suzuka or something. Like it's been probably literally that long. Months. Or I guess Barcelona technically. So what you're saying is uh, what, what because was you haven't run like? multi-class in a few months, all of a sudden moving off the race line into another race line to try and get out of someone's way on the main straight is acceptable. Yeah, I just I don't think I'm I'm nearly as aware as I as I should be. Okay, so you had a brain fart because you just only practice and never race. I Got just it, didn't yeah. think about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know. Um, it was just I felt kind of uncomfortable in the in the, both how the car was handling how the traffic was it just wasn't very good. I felt like I didn't do that well, but and probably I mean it's always awkward in a race being the middle car where you're faster than one third of the cars and you're slower than another third of the cars. No, so it's I always was the one car. a little awkward. I was the one car. Yeah, but you still weren't the fastest. No, um, I wasn't. Someone in the chat wrote GT3 drivers are fucking idiots. I <clears throat> tend to agree that. The slower car, slower class drivers tend to be a bit lost. Like the guys that are strong know how to kind of control the traffic, and then the guys that are right. shit like get out of the way. So as like a faster class, you tend to not really have a good idea of what they're going to do, and then you end up like having collisions because everyone's unpredictable, and that's the problem with. Uh, I feel like that's the problem with bottom, not bottom split, but bottom like bottom class drivers is you have such a mix in comparison to the other two um that that sort of tends to be the issue like some people get completely out of the way and then some will just kind of push you for it so you're always pushing to try and get in and then someone will just randomly give it to you and you end up having contact because they're trying to get out of your way um which was effectively what happened to tom no and i guess looking at it that way it makes sense like if you think about this, this, uh, you know, strength of field disparity between, uh, let's say, like the P2s and the GTEs and the GT3s in a relatively unpopular week like this week, where it's not like, you know, Le Mans, where you have like 400 signups a time slot. So the strength of field disparity is much, much higher. Um, on a week. Oh, you have week. to. You have to also think in this split. Tom was the one car. So really, yeah. how bad was the field? Uh, eighteen sixty five. Eighteen sixty five. Yep. Ow. Um. Yeah. Uh... But strong. It was a. But to be honest, it was a strong eighteen sixty five because some of those dudes, even prototype, raced in our leagues and are uh, half handy. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, I I will say that um, I so I was a second and I was a, like a second and a tenth off my best race lap in practice. Okay. And um, 
I don't know how much of that was the damage on the first lap when we got hit. I'd imagine it's not nearly half a second, maybe a couple tenths, but uh, yeah, yeah, it was like it was just not um, it didn't really happen. I guess I don't know. You guys, you guys ever have those days where you just kind of you just like I asked Nick, I was just kind of you're kind of like uncomfortable with what's happening in the car around you, just in general. You fuck, I just felt kind of rattled. I don't know. Gain, I gained IR, but it just felt bad. So. Do you want me to finish my my uh, yeah my, yeah yeah sure my grilling of the rice sure yes please continue so we haven't made it to the pit stop yet yeah uh, right. pit, I was trying to distract him but it's not working pit stop entry horrendous one of the worst things I've ever seen however <laughs> we didn't lose a position <laughs> so it wasn't that bad but we did go two laps longer on fuel and one lap longer than everyone else so we should have come out well ahead and we came out just ahead so that shows you how disaster it was secondly. Okay. Very upset with uh, my driver's JRT setup, where his fuel calculation numbers put us one lap plus over. So we overfueled by a lap and a half, which is disgraceful. Oh yeah, Nick has zero chill about that, Tom. Don't ever overfuel the car. He will come to your house and make fun of you. He asked me what it said over the line. I, I could only give my what it said. And Race Lab apps told me 20 liters, and that's... That's what I said. And I put in 21 because I calculated for... Yeah, that makes sense. And, and I calculated for an extra lap, which means you calculated for an extra lap and then I calculated for like an extra half a lap. So we fucked up massive. And then anyway, P2 got taken out, which was fantastic. And I think we had it more or less sold. And then Tom was being a little bit of a bitch in traffic. So I was pushing him to go up the inside of cars and force them wide rather than drive around the outside, particularly on the oval, and lose time. And he ended up hunting a GD3 car in a straight line, which at the time I found amusing, but then realized we lost a lot of straight line speed and therefore that probably cost us second. So I don't know if it was yeah. a punt. It, he didn't die or anything, but yeah, it was unfortunate. Uh, I just, I, I was like, but okay, he, 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 like you could have got, like you went to go to the inside and you had like a lot of lock on and everything. And he just like kept going, like he was going for pit lane. And then I think he just, I think he's like, oh, he's just, I'm going to let him outside of me, which is like yeah. fine. But it's I was fine, like, I, I expected at that point in the race, it's like two laps to go. You want to be in the inside, like fuck that guy off, minimize your loss and get on with it it was one of those things where i was like oh he's gonna eventually follow the race line kind of come up the track going out of the oval and he never did and we both decided well we're not going low anymore at the same time so we just both follow each other up the track basically and bumped him it was awkward it was he didn't like it uh in the chat i don't think i don't know it looked i don't i don't i see i thought i hit the 32 car but Maybe it was the 28. I don't know. Someone wasn't very happy in the chat. I don't know if it was at me or not, but I think so. Fuck him. Anyway, anyway, uh, a little, 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 little error there. We got lost P2. It's fine. I actually think um, getting uh, instant feedback from Nick is kind of interesting because he's very uh, um, probably uh, calls for much more of a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not really aggressive, um, affirmative, almost, yes, kind of call for Nick, traffic. You know, Nick, to his credit, is incredibly helpful at dissecting everything you did wrong and doing it in a way that you'll understand what to do in the future or what to avoid doing again. I understand. The only thing that I I couldn't really make happen when when he was trying to give um, a little line change advice, I couldn't really make that happen with the way the car was feeling. And with my confidence in what was happening, I don't the know. The reality is you've done probably, what, like <clears throat> six, seven hours of driving there? No. And, <laughs> Maybe but, like two. But, yeah, but okay, you've done laps, you know what I mean? Like yeah. still two hours of, of driving is still, what is it, like 80 laps. Yeah. Yeah, it might so not be that much, but yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Um, no, you did 43 laps in the race. And it's a one-hour race, and you've already done a one-hour race, so that's already eighty laps. And if you've done an hour of practice, that's one hundred and twenty laps plus. I've Got done him. I've done ninety-three laps there <clears> so far. <throat> Fucking lying to me, motherfucker. I, I just check Vieras, but um, but basically, like, you know what I mean? To try and redial ninety-three 
laps worth of muscle uh, memory or whatever. Muscle yeah. memory, and then me just go, ah, just fucking turn it earlier. Your body's like, ah, I can't do that. Yeah, my body's already like that. So yeah, no, definitely. Especially when you wear a hat like that. But uh, yeah. it was good. Yeah, I know. I, I was. Uh, if you ever want to hop in another. Oh shit! He found a band phrase. He did too. What did he find? Uh, I don't know. Tell us what you found. Cheat the system. You own a prize. Yeah, yeah you're buying. I you're buying him believe. a here for SR T-shirt. That's the prize. If anyone yeah. guesses, if anyone guesses a band phrase or word, Tom has to buy them a here for SR T-shirt. Or an Apex Hunters t-shirt. Whatever. As, whatever they want. As if... Or an Ascari one. I mean, really any of them. As if... As if the podcast didn't cost me money already. Uh, well, it's fine. And me. And you. And you now. Yep. Um, it was good, though. If I Actually, it was... If you ever want to spot me again, Nick, that'd be... Be good. I need to I, do more. I didn't do more multi class. I think uh, I didn't I, mind it actually because I'm quite bored of racing at the moment. I'm not even really interested in in driving. So it was fun. It was. Yeah, like, I feel like until until the box of dreams gets here, it's it's gonna be. Yeah, you it's funny you mentioned that, Dalty. No uh, Nick actually does uh, offer coaching, but uh, we can discuss that off stream. He absolutely does. He does. Someone got me DQ'd from an IMSA race a year ago. Fuck, a year ago. I don't know what happened yesterday, Ace. <laughs> Dalty. Uh, I will, I'll coach you for half of what Nick wants. Yeah, but it'll be quarter of 25% as, as That's right. good. That's right. <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll have to decide whether... Uh, Rip! See, it, it's 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 low value, low cost. So, by the way, have we have we lost Maynard, or is he still here? I never left. <laughs> That's what you're <laughs> <laughs> waiting for y'all to get done with your, your silly talk, there. <laughs> you're such a you're such a trooper, man. Hold what a guy, that Maynard. Do nice. you ever drive IMSA and on, on I racing? IMSA. Mm-hmm. It's an American series. He only drives the 76 series American. with the Wrangler livery. It it is kind of a questionable title for International Motorsports Association. It does sound well. You answer your own question right there, International. No, sir. That's true. Um, I actually, I actually would if you ever get Nick in a race. I actually do recommend it. Uh. I know, I know, you know, I know. You watch, you listen to the pod, you watch the pod. You're like, what a dumbass! But uh, surprise, surprisingly intelligent human being. You wouldn't pick it. I'm not sure. If, I'm not. It's, it's. Uh, ooh, yeah, he's gonna ban you. He's. Just, I think he has mod privileges. You got to be careful with that. Living in the fast lane. Who's living in the fast lane? I don't. It's have... Marcus. Oh. I don't look at Facebook. Manny's not even my friend on Facebook, and Manny and I are actually friends. This is unlike, true. Unlike me and Nick. Oh, wait. Not. What? Can we clip this? This is the best day of my life. Nick's, Nick's going to hack. <laughs> Nick's going to hack. I could cry. <laughs> what a I baby. I could cry. What a baby. Uh, you know, I think it's funny. I think we're just Fuck, about, man. That just made my whole day. I think we're just about wrapping up here. What I'm amazed about, right? Is that just like we haven't talked F one by the way? We definitely have to. No, we don't. No. I feel like we should. Uh, Bro. Nicholas, do you agree? Bro, uh, can I just say? I don't know when I said it, but I said it, and it's on this thing somewhere on the worldwide web of lies, mm-hmm. right? That new tracks, limited track time, and new surfaces toss up racing and make everything exciting. Did I not oh, say that? Oh, it's incredible. It is absolutely incredible. Yeah, that was two episodes ago. Right? Maybe? Yeah. Turkey is not a new track, but we haven't been for a while. New surface. I loved the videos of the them sending out the streetcars to try and rubber in the track. That was so cool. So the guy that, that owns was the weird. track... Here's a funny story, because I used to do a bit of work there. The guy that owns the track is like 
one of the biggest importers of cars and the track is actually a tax free zone. So you import so Oh uh, no. Yeah, yeah, right. So like all the, the track is a is a zone. it's a tax haven. Yeah, basically. well for cars, right? Oh, Holy so, shit. So what Volkswagen group right. use and and they're not the only one, but they're the one that I know of the most. Volkswagen Group use Istanbul International Raceway and its facilities as like a holding ground for cars before they get sold off. So they'll oh go from the factory God. to Turkey and then off. And so they don't know... have to pay VAT until it's sold, basically. Correct. And yep. do you know what 90% of the cars that are sitting there are from Volkswagen Group? Uh, GT3 RSs, no. GT2 RSs. Emissions, false emissions cars. No. And do you Diesel know where gate? they? Yeah, diesel gate cars. And do you know where they go? Eastern Europe, baby. Nice and cheap. Boogity, boogity, boogity! Crashing you bunch of hot dogs! <laughs> That's amazing! Yeah. It's really cool. And the guy the guy that runs it there is really nice. And uh, a lot of the high-end dealers have, like, like an area there. And they do track days and stuff. And right. uh, so, yeah, we've been we've done some really, really cool stuff there in the past um, with a few different manufacturers. Um, and the facility is mega. And the track is by far one of the best you'll ever drive on. It's unreal. TV oh. doesn't do it justice. That's interesting, Nick. Just just when I think the pod is trash and there's no insight. Yeah, I was going to say, Tom, if all you had to say was that's interesting, Nick, I was about to kick you off the pod. Like, that was a genuinely engaging story. It was a good story. It was almost as good as my Missouri story would have been, but I think I'll have to wait to tell you that again. <laughs> the salt. No, no, no. I, I, I like Nick. I'm not afraid to say it. That's fine. Cool. Cool. <laughs> that was a bang. That reminds me. <laughs> that reminds me of the time in middle school the when baby. you. Yeah, but. But yeah, that reminds me of when there was like the, your first like real crush in like middle school, and you're like, oh, I gotta get up the guts to tell her that I like nice. her. Nice. And then you do, and you're just stuck there with the realization that you've done it. That was you right now, Tom. Yeah, I kind of, kind of felt that way. Yeah, I think actually, usually when I talk to Nick, I feel like I'm in fourth grade for various reasons, but that's kind of how I feel. Like you're, you're sitting there waiting for Senpai to notice you. That and uh, I curse more. We talk about dingers more. Um, just in general. Let's be just for the record. The dinger talk is very one way. No. No, it's not. I don't think and so. it's not usually mammalian dingers that you're discussing. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I'm not the person who wrote up the character sheet. That was Nick. But I get it. <laughs> here's, here's, if you want to talk F1, let's talk F1. Let's get out of here. You know, he, he, I was talking about it'd it be earlier, a, right? It'd be a waste not to. I mean, we already cool... have. What a most cool important athlete. thing we've spoken about. Like, that is what makes good racing. Short weekends, cool shit, yeah. different tracks, bang. Different time of year. Go to, yeah. instead of going to Spa in summer, go to fucking Spa well, in winter. Did you like Sebring 12 hour? Yeah, Sebring's a great race. A, oh, a, we a, hadn't talked about Sebring either. What the fuck are we doing on this race. podcast? I don't know. See, this is the thing. I Like I said, the more time I put in, the shittier it is. And the more we talk about what we're going to talk about, we don't. We just talk about whatever. Like when I think we're the most on topic when I just say, screw it, we'll figure it out when we get there. Today, me and Manny, I would agree. We're, we're, like, we're like, hey, what are we talk about today? Oh, such and such. Oh, good. Yeah, that yeah, sounds good. And then Maynard's like, let's talk about the next gen car. And we're like, it, all of our bla- brains melt and we talk about whatever we want. Uh, uh, Nicholas and I had valuable insight on the next gen car, which we shared with the class and continued on with our lives. Yeah, actually, I think the topic and the, the pod in general was the best when Tom's like little video just slid off to the side and he disappeared for a that while. That was pretty. But, good, I mean, man. it was just two handsome men and nice hoodies. It was uh, good. Hey, Life Ma- was good. Maynard, which, to be honest, the pod is 
just two boys talking about iRacing. So one of us has to go. It's me. I want to go. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maynard, you didn't watch Sebring. Have you ever been to Sebring, Florida? Uh, I think I own one once. <laughs> <laughs> I really got Nick pretty good. I picked it up from a junk yard. From a junkyard? Okay. Yeah, it got a good deal on it. Did you put have up, the convertible? Well, put one of them wings on there and I tried to race it. Now, did you, did you understand, Maynard, at the time that when you put the wing on, you made it slower? Well, no, I didn't. I, it went faster. But... Yeah, the added that wing is force. generating downforce in the wrong location. No, it's in the rear where you want it. It it pulls down your rear but wheels, and then the you go fast. The car is front wheel drive. What do you think about wings on NASCARs? That's just un-American. But a wing on a Sebring is fine. Well, you need it if you want to get the downforce. So, uh, talking about actual Sebring, I've only been to Sebring one time. What? And I've all I Sebring have to say about Sebring you, huh? is that it's one of the most shit race facilities I've ever seen in my life. But the track is great. I think that's it's not a race facility. Field. It's an old airfield. It's, it's been... a World War II airfield, did you know? That's no, but that's exactly right. Like, it's not built no. to... For dudes to come and be sit on the pit. I understand and go, that. But, goes. <laughs> but the they've had seventy five years to fix it, Nick. It is no longer a functional airport in the way that you're thinking of it. You're talking about America, bro. You they've had over your, half a century. You can't to figure fix out it. your own presidential problems, little. Oh fix God, please. Alt F four. <laughs> Cut his mic. Cut his mic. <laughs> <laughs> he laughs. Uh, are we done? Did we talk about F1? Was that your F1 talk? We still haven't talked about F1. We No, we were just talking well, about Sebring. F1 ain't nothing to talk about, so I'm out of here. All right, Maynard. I'm going to have to resize the box when you leave. All right, good night, y'all. Okay, thanks, man. Ciao, bro. Dave Dale. Always. Jesus Christ, look at this shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, talk about F1. What the fuck is going on right now with this camera? Talk about F1. Well... Okay, so starting with the quality, probably fuck this up. for me, what one, are the most entertaining quality I've ever watched. Job. The changing conditions of the track were brilliant. And for a stroll to come out pole, I mean, yeah, it's Mercedes on pole again, but uh, it was at least the third Mercedes driver. Um, I thought it was amazing. And Stroll once again proves that he's not a dumpster fire in the wet, which power to him. Love me some stroll, I think. Love is a very strong word, but yeah. I do respect, obviously, like, um, his distance from the start line to the finish line is facilitated by his father being a billionaire. Wish you the the thing, wish you wish you but that being said, we still got to drive the thing. Wish won. How many beers do you think Nick would have to have um, to say he loved me? I'm going to write what I think in the chat. Alcohol poisoning. Honestly, he might die before. Nice. He's writing. He's typing something. (laughs) 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 Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, I I mean, 420 Natty Lights. That's probably 69 real beers. You might survive. Um, Did you not want Stroll to win? It's not that I didn't want Stroll to win. I was just, it was refreshing to see the order changed up as much as it was. Mercedes, the A team for Mercedes was nowhere in qualifying. And then Lewis did what Lewis does and won the fucking race. And we were all treated to his seventh world championship, which, I mean, it's been inarguable, I think, for a while, but. Lewis Hamilton at this pace will go down as the greatest of all time. No question. Better, better than Dale, even right. In F one, okay, yes. In go. life, we long go. way to go. Let's go. We gotta go. Better than Dale. You heard it here. When he wins his eighth.
Well, considering you're a man of the <laughs> the cloth and colour yourself, um, that's a pretty aggressive statement. Yeah. You didn't like it? No, from Manuel, not you. Oh, oh you're, you're a white what about American. Me? You've got no like qualm with anything. You are saying that a white Middle America man with a mustache is better off track than a black F1 driver who's doing it for diversity. Oh my god. That's oh, what you just said. Shit. You just so said it. Bad. As the token <laughs> as the token on the show, you just said what Tom should say. That is Or Mayna. No. That is not what I said at all. It's a very simple question. Who would you rather have a beer with? Would you rather have a beer with Dale or Lewis? Dale. Yeah. There you go. Tom, would you agree? Yeah. All right. See, it's unanimous. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, To our audio-only listeners... Um, this might be the one time that you'll want to see our faces on the pod because the uh, high quality camera work and OBS uh, management that is taking place today, I mean, it's it's for all time. Let's see what I can do here. Um... I guess last, que- uh, last topic to cover um, now that we've covered uh, uh, Formula One. Oh! Do you agree with uh, my statement that Lewis, that this pace will go down as the greatest of all time? Um, yes. In the current era, yes. Yeah, I think it's very hard to judge eras, but fully he agree. Is undisputably, on a level above everyone else at the moment. Yep. All right. I I will accept that statement. Um, the last topic I guess to cover, uh, who? ended up crashing the most during Sebring. I mean, there was some strong competition in GTLM for top wrecker of the day. They were not there for SR. No. Um, P2. P2 very doing a great job on the yeah, Recathon. Your normal South Americans doing their business. Racist. Oh! Uh... Not no. Oh, that's a generalized statement over the course of a year that has validity. Oh wait, did did Durrani hit someone again? Uh, sorry, did you watch the race? I'm I heard that Durrani had hit someone, but I hadn't watched the. Oh, well, first of all, you don't come and call fucking race and shit when you don't even watch the race and realize. Uh, that the, let's the man... again clarify that it was Thomas that called race. I was just sitting here. You man. can't even see me. He's it's gone. True. He's gone. Okay, so it's just me and you, Tom. We're the He's two gone. boys talking about racing. That's right. I think it's time to go. No, he's really gone. He's gone. Um, yeah, I guess it's time to go. You have, anything, you have any closing words, Nick? Closing thoughts? Um... The Mercedes GT3 from Riley Motorsports gets it, I think, for taking out the Ooh, GTD yeah. leader with 15 minutes to go. Well, he took out the GTD and the GTD leader. Right? Isn't that what happened? Right? Isn't that what You're happened? You're allowed to make fun of whatever you want. Are you, are you under contract? Don't talk to Manny. He's banned. He can't. He's not on the podcast. Right Tom, now. is the man behind you under contract that's not involved is in this? Is he under contract? No. Should he be? Wouldn't imagine so. He's not that good. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I put him back on at a great time. Let's go, though. <laughs> what do you say to that? Tom's had enough. I've, I've had right. enough. I think I'm done here. All right, I guess the only other thing is, uh, Nicholas, would you like the honor of signing us off? You're by far the smoothest of us. Yes, please. (coughs) I've never seen more disjointed. We are the two boys talking about iRacing, iRacing memes, and how every wreck is your fault. You can listen to us on Spotify, Apple Music, hold on, YouTube, Twitch. Join us on Discord and our community to talk about shit, fuck Tom. (laughs) 
and <laughs> his shitty Porsche Cup setups. And we can also talk about other stuff that involves anything that really annoys Tom, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, crocodile livery Audi R8s. Crocodile livery Audi R8s uh, are part of the Discord conversation that hopefully Tom will make one for me. So, on that note, ciao!